how are you guys able to kind of with, with, with stand uh, their onslaught in the first half? They made all those threes. Second half, uh, not not so much. What, what, what did you guys do differently in the second half to kind of counteract that? Yeah, you know we were we were prepared for it. Um, you know they came in they came in really hot. We knew they shot a ton of threes uh, per game. Uh, and we're a team that shoots a lot of threes, and they kill us in that category as far as attempts. So uh, we knew that that's what they were going to try to establish, but um, we didn't do a very good job of taking that away in the first half. And then uh, second half, I, I feel like we started to wear them down towards the towards the second half of that second half, and um, really got got into them on the three point line and ran them off the line. Yeah, definitely. I mean, credit to them; they made some tough shots, but I mean, we weren't um, really into the game defensively like we should have been. And I think coming into the second half, we had a different mindset. Um, and we really established just what, what, we're, what we want to do out there instead of just letting them get what they want. What did this kind of feel like, you know, coming back, you know, now you're the number two ranked team in the country, a, a sellout, you guys kind of blew them out in the second half. Was it everything you kind of wanted it to be anticipated? Yeah, you know, it's a dream come true to be able to play in front of a sold out uh, place at UCLA. And, um, to be ranked number two, it, it's, it's awesome. We're very blessed to be there. And, uh, yeah, it was a blast. It was a blast to play in that game. We didn't start the way we wanted to, but uh, it, it's it's a testament to what this team is about, um, finding ways to win and, and doing it the right way. Yeah, definitely. And credit to all the fans for coming out. I mean, that hasn't happened in a while in Poly, so credit to all them coming out and just being able to watch. And just, I think we made a good show for them. We didn't play as, as well as we thought we should have, but, I mean, it was still a good win for us. Yeah, Brian, how good can this team be? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, this is the best, probably the best team that I've been on since I've been here, and um, I think the sky's the limit for us. Uh, we, we have, the, the good thing about it and the encouraging part is we have so much room to improve, uh, and we can see that in film. Uh, we got really smart guys. You know, our coaches don't have to tell us when we're doing things wrong because we know it. So um, we, we're really good at going into halftime and knowing what we've done wrong and make adjustments. Uh, and I think that's what we showed tonight. Uh, guys, with you know, obviously Thomas being out tonight and and Juji um, being in foul trouble, uh, what was it like to, to have uh, Ek out there, and what kind of difference did he make in the second half? Um, I mean, we've known what he can do. I mean, in practice, he's he's really an unbelievable athlete. His timing on blocks, rebounds, he's just <clears throat> he's so talented in a lot of aspects that a lot of the fans don't realize. Um, so I mean, we knew he could do all this, but it's just a good coming out party for him, and even in the Kentucky game, just watching him go out there and really be in the flow and start to play his game, which we all know he can do. Yeah, Bryce, there was one point you raised your hands for the, the crowd to cheer and they kept cheering. Could you imagine two, three years ago that happened and the difference and what difference that makes, you know, how that feels? Yeah, it's, it's a blast as a player to be able to play in front of that. And uh, We've had a few games like that uh, in the past, but this this has probably been the most most full that I've seen it um, and, and the most the loudest probably I've seen it. And, uh, it's probably the most fun we've that I've had since I've been here playing in front of that crowd, and um, it's great. You know, the students came out tonight, and we just got done with finals, so um, a lot of them probably stayed back just to watch the game before they went home, which is awesome. So, uh, big thank you to them. Is this sort of how you imagined when you came here? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't actually know a whole lot uh, about the, the the student body or anything about this when I came here. I didn't get to come on a visit uh, because of the situation, so. Um, you know, with, with these four letters, you expect that, and uh, we're, we're starting to put on a show for people, and uh, I think the word of mouth is really starting to spread. To come through the first 10 games of the season without a defeat, one of just now a handful of teams left undefeated, how do you feel about that, or is it some of the place you expected to see? Yeah, like I said, you know, when you're at UCLA, you expect that, um, and all of our fans and people do expect that. Um, so it's something that we've had to work really hard to get to, especially uh, coming off the year that we had last year. but. Uh, we knew how hungry we were going to be when we, when we started the year, and uh, we knew the talent that was coming in to help us, so uh, it's been a great mix so far. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what we wanted coming into the season. We wanted, I mean, we want to win every night. I mean, no matter who we're playing, we're going to go out there and give it our all, and I think we've done that so far. I mean, there's a lot of season left, so we're just looking forward. I mean, now we're just focusing on UCSB on Wednesday, and, and that's the next thing for us. Uh, in the first half, for, for both of you guys, how did it feel to be playing at your pace, but having them keep up with you were you did you like that um, as it played out the rest of the game yeah I mean giving up 50 points and a half is not something that we're happy about or our coaches obviously but um, we like that we dictate our pace um, I think it showed in the second half that we kind of wore them down um, 
Well, you know, credit to them, the way they shot the ball in the first half was incredible. Uh, they're pretty much outplaying us in their own game. So uh, to be able to do what we did and, and, and really wear a team down, I think that shows who we are as a team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we really got smacked in the mouth in the first half. Um, and we knew that going into halftime. We really wanted to correct our mistakes, and I think we did that pretty well um, and ended up getting the win. So it was, a, it was a good win for all of us. Following up on that, how aware of you during the game about keeping a certain pace, you know, and pushing the tempo? Yeah, I mean, we, we work on it all the time. So, you know, whether it be drills in practice or, or just what we've learned through games, it's uh, it's not really something that we have to think about. You know, we're just basketball players out there playing the game. You know, we don't have a whole lot of, we don't have any sets that we just are A, B, C, D. You know, we're a team that um, just plays basketball. We're a team of pace and, and screening and cutting and reading what the defense gives us and take that. So we know going into every game that the defense is going to try to take something away and we just got to figure out what it is.